if you try if you try to break uae government law you are going back to nigeria don't ever try to to use your own personal interest to spoil other people because this is it you are not the only person in this country the population is many Yo, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Chris Amilo. Welcome back to the episode Life in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Ladies and gentlemen, now that we are seeing what is going on in Nigeria, we here in Dubai, I believe that we all want to contribute to this situation. Yes, we are abroad, we are in Dubai. The people in UK are protesting, the people in other uh, countries are protesting, but don't forget that this is a different country. The, the policy in UK is different from the policy in the United Arab Emirates. So if you feel like you want to protest, just protest online because the, the letter which we or they wrote to to the embassy or to the UAE government was rejected in regard of protesting in Dubai. See, you know he protests here. You understand? There's nothing, there is no how we say you think of protesting in UAE that is going to result anything. If you try to protest here, the last thing where you go see yourself, you see you go just wake up for money and one thing you say, don't see yourself for playing when they go to Nigeria, free of charge. You understand? You can just see yourself for playing where they go for Nigeria, free of charge. So protesting in Dubai, it is not advisable, and it is not approved by the UAE government because the policy here is different from the policy from the Western world. The Western world has the different policy from the Gulf. This is the Gulf. You understand? And as much as they respect us, based on even they are, they, are, they, they are Muslim and they respect other religion, they respect every other nationality that come to their country, we all have to respect them and keep their policy. This is a matter of policy here, not a matter of say you want to, not a matter of say you want to be, you want to, you want to talk, you want to, you want to protest because you love Nigeria or this, this or that or Nigeria. Or that. No. If you want to protest, brother, enter plane, go Nigeria. The ones that we in abroad, the ones that we that is in in this country that is doing online is okay. If you want to protest, if you want to support the movement, you can go online. You can go uh, Twitter, use the hashtag uh, end police brutality, end SARS, end bad government, end anything, end in Nigeria, so that we can move forward. The, the, everybody cannot come outside. In this protest, the real truth is that everybody cannot come outside. Everybody cannot protest. Everybody cannot be on the street. Some people have to be in the street. Why some people need to still be at home, online, trying to update the world on what is happening. So as long as the world that is in Nigeria are in the streets, then they protest. Then they, you know, we all that is not in abroad, we have to also create an awareness. We all that is, that is in abroad, that is not in Nigeria, we also need to create an awareness and sit and post and use the hashtag and make it trend. That is what we are here for. We have to make it trend. It's done. So if you think that protesting in Dubai, what do you want? Which Nigeria government is in Dubai? Which of the, which of the even the, the Dubai the, the, the ambassador are you just saying that for Dubai? So let me tell you something. It is not about everybody cannot be on the streets. Yes. You can raise your hand, uh, 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 and SAS, and bus governance, and everything, and go go to go, go go to go, and everything. But we no go fit enter for street. If you enter for street, brother, you go Nanja. Understand? If you try, if you try to break UAE government law, you are going back to Nigeria. Don't ever try to to use your own personal interest to spoil other people, because this is it. 
You are not the only person in this country. The population is many. You have the India, you have the Pakistan, Bangladesh, Philippines. Many many countries are in this UAE. So you have, don't have to use your own to support your own. If you want to protest, you can go back to Nigeria. Or better still, you can use online, which every other people that is in abroad, every other Nigeria that stays in UAE or stays anywhere that is not allowed to protest outside, they can use their platform to, protect, to, to create their awareness. Just like I'm doing right now. I'm... I'm sitting comfortably here, but I'm still talking to anybody that can see, go to my channel and watch this video. So it's not about winning in the street. It's about, it's about ending, it's about end, creating awareness. It's about creating awareness. And the only way to create awareness is both people working hand to hand with those, those people in the streets of Nigeria and those people outside Nigeria to create awareness of this movement, because this is a movement. This is not just, this is no longer a, uh, a, a protest as we call it. This is no longer a protest. This is another part of movement now. This is a revolution. This is like a revolution. This is turned to a revolution. Because now the Nigerian youth are working hard to make sure that the government meet up to every requirement which they needed. And definitely before they can back down, or we come back down, everything will be sorted out. So, my brother, if you plan to protest for UAE, my brother, go online. The Twitter. Yes, I don't like the movement. Don't be saying people don't like to go in the street, but you have to respect everyone's policy. Just as the way that UAE respect every national that came to its, to its country, every, many religions, many religions in this country, many. But still, they respect everyone's religion. They don't interfere on your religion. They don't interfere on your personal matters. You understand? So you don't have to start breaking their rules because you feel like this is what you want. This is not about what you want. If you know you, this is what you want, you can take the next available flight, go back to Nigeria, and hit the street and protest, and we will call you the hero. Mm, yes, you want to be a hero, Abby. If you want to be a hero, Hit the street of Nigeria, raise your hand up, and we will call you the hero. But in this country, please, please, as much as we all support this movement, is not allowed to go in the street of Dubai and, and uh, make the rest of the residents uncomfortable. So that is the reason why the approval was rejected, because they actually wrote the approval and it was rejected because... You cannot use your own to spoil another people's own. I talk them again. You understand? There are other nationalities which are in this Dubai and you know how they behave. So you might hit the street and complain go start going to the go start going to the uh, police department. And before you know, bro, <laughs> you are home. <laughs> what are you gonna hear now? Home, sweet home, and <laughs> sass. Oh, you understand? So that is it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Christian Melo and this is life in Dubai. Peace up. And we are believing in NSAS and police uh, brutality and bad governance and everything enable in Nigeria. We are unstoppable and we are here to take over Nigeria. You understand? But I did Dubai here. <laughs> yeah, I did Dubai here. They claim NSAS. We support the movement. We support the movement. We support every movement. You understand? Peace off. Proud Nigeria. Hey yo ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Chris Amilo and welcome to the brand new episode of Life in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. So if you haven't subscribed, click the subscription button and notify yourself because we are going to bring you everything you need to know concerning everything that happening in Dubai, everything concerning your job and your contract. So if you haven't subscribed, click the subscription button notify yourself and let's go.